So everyone, this is uh, the community uh, of asset management practitioners in the US campus. Uh, this is our uh, a virtual community to provide visibility into the adoption of asset management in the US. And so we have um, three key uh, sections of this website. We have join campus, campus directory, and then industry resources. And Jack and I have kind of touched on each of these topics during this webinar. Um, but um, so first on this homepage, you'll see um, down at the bottom here is um, and just in case as you're going through and you have questions or feedback, please let us know at this email address. And you can see a website powered by Asset Leadership Network um, there. Um, so you'll see uh, under the about, we have um, just for folks that are like, what is asset management? We have that here, um, some background on what that is and the elements of asset management systems. And then um, as Jim mentioned, it can be a little bit of an acronym soup uh, for all the different entities that are involved and it can get a little confusing. I know as a newbie to this organization a little more than a year ago, I, it took me a little while. Um, I think until Jack like wrote this all down. Um, <laughs> but here you'll see um, just a little bit of explanation about um, who is ISO, um, what are the national standard bodies, what is this um, technical committee 251? Um, and then who are the, you know, kind of uh, organizations that support this, the um, American National Standards Institute, Institute as the national standards body, and then also ASTM that administers the 251. So more detail on who, who all these groups are, are there. Um, and then, uh, so that's our about section. And then um, this is the where we want to encourage you all to uh, consider joining. This is Canvas. Uh, and so again, we're using data to promote awareness of the community of asset management practitioners in the US. Um, so Nick set this up very smoothly for us that you can um, fill out your information here. And um, I was, if, if, do you think Jim, I could like fill it out um, as we're going, it should only take me like a minute to do that. Yeah, sure. Sure. Okay. All right. So I'm going to use my organization. So my name, email address, I'm in the US, and organization size, and the type of organization. I'm, um, I'm, by county, but so I'm going to pick county. Um, and then um, the industry sector, we use the NIAX code or no, wait, I think it's pronounced differently, but North American Industry Classification System um, for that uh, in the two digit one. So I'm under utilities and I can put our website. And logo, I don't have a logo. Adoption scale, I'm just gonna say there's different options here. So just starting on the journey, implement it some principles and requirements from ISO, adopt it most or all, um, have become certified, um, have adopted asset management requirements that go beyond ISO or unknown if you're not sure or maybe not comfortable filling out, put, filling one of those out, then you can select unknown. Um, so I'm gonna say word two. And then does your organization intend to become certified? I'm not sure. Okay, and then has your organization been certified? Uh, NA to that, and then submit. Easy peasy, doesn't take long. Um, then you'll get a message here. Um, and um, the as a team, we'll be reviewing these submissions. Um, we did, I should have pointed out um, that each of the items that had a little star by it, those are the items that we will carry over um, into the directory. Um, first, before publishing it to the directory though, we'll be in touch with you. Um, you know, we might wanna clarify some items with you. Um, and um, so then, so within five to 10 days, um, you'll, it'll then be published to the directory section. So I'll go to that. And this is still has some of the um, kind of test ones in there. So um, those will show up here in a minute. Um, so you'll see here we're um, 
once as you start to add your organizations here, um, you'll be able to search um, and we include the organization name. Um, here, this one is the primary contact person and email, um, country, the size, uh, the type of organization, industry sector, all those questions, not all, many of the questions that were uh, listed, the starred items from the form. And um, what's cool about this is it lets you filter and group and sort. And so once this becomes really filled out, um, I'll be able to, you know, as a water wastewater utility, I'm probably kind of interested in starting with looking at those organizations. And so I can sort and filter for those. And then on any of these items, I can, I can filter. And um, so that's this page. And then, um, so we, we, we expect that this, we, we hope that this will grow um, to be a very long list of organizations and individuals participating. And then um, here, as I mentioned, this is kind of the beginnings of this page. We have some um, listed advocacy, asset management advocacy groups, um, and then other associations that are advocating asset management, ASCE, ASHTO, which I mentioned, American Water Works Association, um, and, then, um, and then some other um, resources there as well. Um, and so, so this is kind of a starting place for this page. Um, and we, um, we hope with feedback from all of you, um, as well as just as this website matures, we really wanna add um, a, more content on this page as, as it grows.